This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The California Ocean Protection Act, signed into law in 2004, created the Ocean Protection Council and called on it to work with its sister organization, the Ocean Science Trust. Together, they develop policy and research aimed at protecting California's extraordinary coast. One of the law's objectives is to provide research and tools that help policymakers make informed decisions. One of our biggest investments and one of our, our biggest successes has been mapping the seafloor and the near coastal areas. Catherine Kuhlman is the executive director of the Ocean Protection Council. Seafloor mapping is the process of actually documenting what the world looks like. So if you imagine like your 3D maps, it's like the underwater Google Earth that you can actually pull up maps that show you where the reefs are, where mountains are, where valleys are. And with that goes the near shore mapping that does the same thing, which shows where high tide is and where the ocean effects are that you could, that are physical effects that you can see from literally from the air. And with climate change and the expected storm surges and sea level rise, Catherine expects the seafloor mapping project will be a significant resource for decision makers. Having those maps and combining them then with the maps of the coastal area, the land, we're going to be able to better judge where we're at risk. Perhaps you are working on a permit for something that you can go in and you can draw a circle on the coast and the ocean and you can see where all the other permits are. You can see where, um, where the boundary lines are. You can see if there's, you know, where the transmission lines are, where the shipping lanes are, and you can see all that information. And that informs decision making, uh, whether you're a private citizen or if you're making a permitting decision as a regulator. We make better decisions when we have better information. Another program focuses on marine protected areas. Marine protected areas are the places along the coast that are both parks as well as scientific laboratories, as well as places where people can just enjoy the resource. They provide a laboratory for us to understand what happens when you don't do anything extractive, you don't take anything out of a particular area. How does it change? The hypothesis is that if we have these spots where we don't take anything out of them for a while, we will reap benefit in the rest of the ocean. The protected areas were chosen as spots of like, it's this is a really good place for rockfish, or this is a really good place for this kind of ecosystem. And by protecting those, I mean, the theory is that we know that, for instance, lobsters are going to get bigger, and do those bigger lobsters produce more baby lobsters? We know if the older fish hang out there and they get bigger and they create a lot more babies than younger fish, does that then seed the rest of the sea? And now our job is to keep monitoring and to make sure that our hypothesis was corrected. We, is it enough? Is it not enough? Uh, did we, are they the right places? Uh, what else can they tell us? What can they tell us about climate change? What can they tell us about freshwater and the influence of the coastal watersheds? What do we have to learn from our, from our tribal communities about what the past was? They just become this rich area for really hundreds and hundreds of ideas to live and flourish. I'm very proud of the council's decision to invest in the monitoring uh, that went into creating the outlines for the marine protected areas that were created along our coast. 16% of California's coastline is in protected area. It's the largest anywhere in the United States. It's a huge accomplishment. For us in California, the ocean defines us. Uh, whether it's the people who have been here from time immemorial to the fascination with the coast when that gold spike was delivered and the transcontinental railway started to that feeling that you get when you walk onto the beach in bare feet and you breathe the salt air. It defines us as Californians. It defines us as ocean people. And my thanks to Catherine Coleman, Executive Director of the Ocean Protection Council. I'm Jerry Kay.